Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to share the prophetic word of God with you today and I'm so happy you are here. If this is your first time, welcome. My name is Agnes. On this channel I talk a lot about fasting because I believe that there are certain problems which cannot go away unless you fast. I also share testimonies and um, every prophetic word that God lays upon my heart. And so go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything that God is doing in this family. Let's get started. I'm sharing this prophetic word of God from Isaiah 45 verse 2 to 3. The mountains have been leveled. Those giants have fallen and you don't have to be scared. Just go ahead and possess your possessions. God has been speaking and uh, the past few days he has been bringing this scripture to me and I wanted to share it with you. Perhaps you are thinking God made a mistake to show you that vision, confirming the promise and even showing you in the dream because the answer is taking long to manifest. This is your word. In Isaiah 45 verse 2 to 3, God is talking to Cyrus and telling him, I'm going ahead of you. I'm going to level every mount. I'll break every gate of bronze and cut through bars of iron. In place of Cyrus, put your name. God is speaking to you. And the exciting part about this is the latter part of verse 3. He says, I'll give you treasures of darkness. I'll give you riches stored in secret places. I want to show you the treasures of darkness. When I was meditating upon this word, the Holy Spirit started to reveal great and mighty things that I didn't know. Treasures of darkness. In that situation, that's where your treasure is. That's where your blessing is. Something good is coming out of that situation. Your answer is there. You know God will give you different answers. He will give you an immediate answer. Immediately, you pray and fast. You see, the next day, God has answered. He will tell you to wait. He will tell you to wait because he knows that he's preparing something great, something perfect, something that will last your lifetime, not where... You get it and tomorrow you lose it because we're not ready. And another way he answers, he will give you a different answer. This is where you dig up now. You have to find that treasure. Treasure of darkness. In that difficult moment, in that dark situation, your situation right now is very dark. Some of you have lost jobs in this pandemic. Some of you are sick, experiencing a tough time. Your money is going to pay hospital bills. There's no small request before God. He's a good father. He loves us so much and we can tell him anything. He says, have you asked and I didn't answer? Watch out. That situation that you think is so dark, that's where the treasure is. Some of these people who are so successful, if you sit down with them, they'll tell you their stories and your jaw will drop where they've come from. They were in the street. They didn't have anything at a certain point. They slept without food. Where are they today? They discovered themselves. God says, I'll give you treasures of darkness. These are treasures of darkness. When it's too tough, that's when you discover yourself. When I'm so desperate and I'm faced with a giant, that's when my mind now gets so awake. I am able to think very clearly. Sit down in that difficult moment. Start searching. What has God placed in your heart? What is in your hand right now? God asked Moses when he was crying to him. When the enemies were busy chasing them, the Egyptians were busy following them and they were very close. Right now you may look back and say, who? There are enemies everywhere following me. Sickness, being laid off from work. Those are your giants. But God says, I'm breaking every gate of bronze that is stopping you. If you've been caged and you cannot access your blessings, I am God. I am going to break those gates and you will enter and you will possess your possessions. Anything that has been caged in your life, God says, I'll cut through every bar of iron. No matter how strong they are, I'm going to break them. Every mountain be leveled. The giant has been defeated. You enter and possess your possessions. God is faithful. 
Don't sit there and cry. This is your moment. There are treasures in that situation, in that, that moment right now. Your breakup may mean that God is saying, discover yourself, be a better woman, be a better man before you get married. Don't start crying over something that has already happened. Move on and work on yourself and be better. Remove every I can't. Remove any limitation. There's nothing too difficult for God. God is bigger than anything that you may be going through right now. You know a mountain is huge. And that's the picture God is giving you. A mountain where you look the other side, you don't think you can go around. You look up, you don't think you can climb it. You look the other side, you have come so far and you don't want to go back. He says, it's too difficult for you. I'm going to level it because I'm the creator of heaven and earth. And this is what God is saying today. Discover yourself in that situation. Sit down and look at what God is saying in that dark situation because your answer is in that problem. Most problems come with so many treasures, good treasures, good things out of problems. I was sick for 34 days. I stayed in the hospital and I couldn't see my children. Every time I wanted to see them, they would go outside and stand and I would just wave at them. For one month, four days, when I came out of there, I said, this is a different Agnes now and I'm going to find myself because even just being out of the house and being free to walk, I appreciate God so much and God cares about your situation so much that he wants you out. It can be sickness, it can be financial problems. Sit down and discover another answer that God has already given you through that situation. He wants you to get the best because the best belongs to you. God has created all things here on earth. I was reading Psalm 115 verse 16. It says, the heavens belong to God but the earth he has given it to man. This earth, God has given it to you. And right now, he wants you to possess that which he has for you. Is there anything too difficult for God? Do you think there's any mountain in your life that God cannot crumble, that God cannot make flat? You are not going to climb over that mountain and suffer so much because you are doing it in your own strength. God says, I'm going ahead of you. My presence is already ahead of you. I'm empowering you. The things you are doing now, seeking the Lord more, going into fasting and praying. This is what I'm passionate about on this channel and I believe that God wants each and every Christian to be fasting. Not every day, but when it's needed, you go into prayer and fasting. This is the weapon that God has given us to use. And that mountain is leveled because God is already ahead of you. You shouldn't be scared right now. Don't go into hiding and begin to cry because it's too hard, it's too difficult. He says, if you've been caged in that, in that prison of unforgiveness, prison of depression and anxiety, prison of, of self-destruction because of what you are thinking, because of what you are saying to yourself, God says that gate is broken. And that mountain that is opposing you to go to the other side because it's too huge in front of you, God says this giant is defeated. That giant is defeated because the power of God is in you. You may look at yourself and say, how am I going to overcome this mountain? God says, not by your strength, but by my power. There's nothing too difficult for God. I believe so much that this word is going to bring wonders and miracles in your life. If you take this word and, and ask God to level every mountain, that situation is no more. Right now, the presence of God is ahead of you. Some of you, you will hear the Lord saying, turn to the left or the right, because this is where I want you to go. That's what Isaiah 30 verse 21 says that you hear the voice behind saying, turn right or turn left, because this is the right path to take. And after you do that, you will see the light shining so bright in your life. What is stopping you from going to the next level? 
God says, I'm going to level every mountain. Some of you, right now, your mountain is unbelief, thinking this is just Isaiah 45, verse 2 to 3. Faith is believing now, taking God at his word, because he will never change his mind. This word that he has spoken is not going to return back to him void. He says, whatever I've said, it will come back to me after it has already accomplished what I've sent it forth to do. So I thought I should share this prophetic word today. I pray that you put your faith on this word and let God do that which he has promised to do. This word is not going to return back to God without doing these things that he has promised to do. Continue to be who he has called you to be. Thank you so much for watching this video. Watch more videos that I recommend on this channel. You are being part of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if this video has blessed you, give it thumbs up, share it with friends, comment, like, and I'll see you in the next video.